thanks for joining me. I'm making my grandma's uh, 2020 March calendar. Uh, for those who are new to my channel, I have a grandma who's 103, and she's been in a skilled nursing home for going on five years now. Uh, actually, it's going to be six years this um, year. So I've made her a calendar every month, and she hangs it on her closet. Now, those who have been following me, um, she is a stinker. I love her to death. Unfortunately, she has lost her eyesight and her hearing. I'm still going to continue doing her calendars because she likes the attention that she gets for it. So um, even though she can't see it, she's still, you know, happy that the nurses tell her, you know, oh, Lillian, you got your camera, your camera, your calendar. So um, let's just get into it. I went ahead and used this really pretty gold cardstock from this paper pack. And I just fell in love with this. I got this a couple months ago. It's Craft Smart. I got it at Michael's and I, it happened to be on sale. So I was really excited about that. I'm using it over and over again. Some more paper is um, just this orange scrap right here. And it looks like it might be, oh, probably, hmm. Oh, this is from Walmart. It was a paper pack from Walmart. So that's color block. Um, this is American Crafts. It's a real nice charcoalish black. It's got some texture to it. This here is some shimmer paper, and this came from a paper pack that I don't have the top of the um, paper pack anymore. It just fell off, and so um, that's going to be a guessing game here. And then this is also um, green from the die cuts with a view paper pack. It came with a multiple colors as well. I'm going to be doing. <laughs> A rainbow that is going to hang down from here or actually four rainbows and the rainbow cutouts came from the St. Patrick's Down the Cricut design space. These are little strings I'm going to punch some holes at the bottom and dangle those down. Um, the font here I went ahead and made my own March. In the Cricut design space if you want to do like March or September or whatever, you can go up into the search bar and type September, March, whatever it is, and it comes up with all their pre-made um, ones. But I decided to go ahead and do my own, and I found this one. This is actually Extreme Fonts, and it's from Short Stuff. Super cute. Double layer. Even better. The little clovers here are from Designer's Calendar, and that's one of the ones that I have been using for many, many years. I'm going to use my Martha Stewart gold pen to do the numbers and I'm going to outline it with this white because I did a little test on this paper and you really can't see it. This down here I just created these little pots of gold and these are from the St. Patrick's Day Cricut Design Space also. And I put five of them together and welded it. So that's going to go on the bottom there. Alright, so I'm going to turn on some music. We'll speed it up and we'll get this done.
Okay, so I wish you all could have heard me. I was literally laughing at what a dork I was trying to put the numbers together. I do that every time. So apparently my brain cannot think backwards because I started with the 31 and messed it up somewhere here. I'm glad I made those extra clovers. And then down here I went like 28 to 20 to 30. I don't know. You guys saw it, so it's crazy. All right, so I, since, since these are probably going to move around a little bit, I think the tape does, just doesn't appeal to me. So we're going to go ahead. I went and cut out um, that last layer here, and I'm going to just cover that up. I'll make sure it gets on the edges. And you could, I mean, if you do it exactly like this, you could peel that off. Well, let's just do one like that. Why not? The thing that it's not going to do is it's not going to be um, put it together, held together uh, on the edges here. So I'll just add that. Might as well put that tape to good use, right? Now I intentionally cut these strings at different levels. Um, I did like an 8 inch tied it and then like a 6 inch and tied it so it has a little bit of variety. And um, I sort of wa I winked it, winked it, is that a word? With the numbers, <laughs> just kind of made up my own font there. Some of it I'm like, how do I do this 6? So I had like number issues today. But it was fun and that's what matters. I had fun doing it. Yeah, that's better. So when it hangs, if you can see it, I'll flip it like this. If it flips around, then you've got a finished back to it. All right, I think that's all I'm going to put on it. I'll go ahead and take a picture of it and put it on my blog, and you can see if there's any um, additional sort of changes that I made to it. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching, and um, thank you for subscribing. You all are amazing. And uh, if you have any questions about any of the Cricut cartridges, or images or how to put something together. I may know how to do it, but if not, we can work on it together and see if we can figure it out. Um, I forgot to say one last thing. I'm gonna go ahead and use this now on the numbers because it pops up more. So, all right, have a great day.